Hi and welcome to the Teacher Monster to Read review. This review is for teachers um, or parents and it's going to show you why this game is one of the best games out there if you want to teach your children to read. It's going to cover the game, the story, how to get your kids off Fortnite or how to get your kids off Minecraft or Candy Crush. It's going to go into the stats that you can see so you can see how your students are doing. Are they progressing as you expect? Do you need to go back and try some other things? It's going to look at some of the rewards that this site, this free site, gives you um, on how to motivate your students and to take the game into the classroom or into the home school. And finally, it's going to show you the mini games that are free all the time that you can use to play with your students or your children on your computer anytime you want. Let's take a look at that game now. Hi, I uh, just want to show you the quick story game. Now, I cannot show you the entire story. It is hours of gameplay, hours of phonics instruction, so I cannot show you this. There are videos on the channel, uh, I'll link to them in the description, that have the gameplay, uh, a few minutes for each level to give you an idea. I'll show you the setting up of the monster here, um, and maybe the first game, but even that takes a little bit of time. It is not what it'll look like when a student logs in. This is a teacher's login, but the button is the same. So you press play and it will start the game. Slowly, it appears. There we go. OK. So we're going to start to play the game. This is what it'll look like on the app and on the computer. Don't forget, free on the computer. Hello, Hello again. again. Here, Here is your monster. monster. You, you can, can make, make changes, changes if you want to, or press on the tick, tick if you are happy with your monster. So this is the first screen they'll come to, which is to make a monster. This is to make it their own, so they can recognize it, print pictures. We'll, uh, we talk, we'll talk about that later. Um, they can change lots of things. They can change... Arms, face, head, body, legs, ears and horns. To make it look like anything they want. Let's legs. And they just go through and choose head. Let's do the head. head. Let's make it blue. Face. Face. And give him two eyes. There we go. And when they finish, they just press tick. Now, this is not a how to video, this is a, a review video. So I'm not going to spend ages making a monster. Your, your student or your children will. They'll be very very involved in this because it really it captures their imagination and you may notice teaches them a little bit about body language as well are you happy with your monster yes well done. Now, there's a bit of a long story is waving at you and ready to go on an adventure while i fast forward let's go Okay, so we're back. Um, I managed to have a cup of tea, look at my phone, all in that time. It takes a little bit of time at the beginning uh, as a story. And in a class of 30, you will hear this a lot. Get some headphones is one of my top tips. Uh, I'm going to play one game with you, that's it, because there are 12 different games. The mini games come later. You'll kind of have an idea of those. But this is just to show you how high quality this game is. It goes through all the English sounds. They have their own monster, and now they get to practice those sounds. So let's take a look. The evil duck has captured a villager. To free the villager, tap on all the buttons that make the sound. go back to the king now and the king will talk thank you said the king you found my letters you can have your prize now so he wins the hat and 
Kommunikation. If you can find some more letters for me, I will give you another prize. Let me pause it here. Which now they can choose the prize. So you can see here if they've got a hat. This is where they dress their monster. <clears throat> Excuse me, by the way. Um, these games go on. The aim is that they have to fix the spaceship that crashed. And then later on, they have to fight the pirate king or, and then help the fairy princess. And each level gets more difficult with more games. And your students or your children love it. They will choose to play this. Later on, I'm going to show you one of my students who's played this game for 25 hours over the course of the last year. Now, we have been in lockdown and there's been a lot <coughs> excuse me, of online learning. So this is to be expected, but I didn't expect 25 hours of doing this. That was that was amazing. Um, she hasn't been playing in that time Candy Crush or Minecraft, which is actually better, but or Fortnite or PUBG. Uh, she's been playing on the computer for free and learning English. You'll get to see her scores later. So this is the actual game. This is the story. Now, later on, I'm going to show you the mini games. The mini games are for teachers to use in classrooms. Next, though, I'm going to show you the teacher area or the parent area, which is something that not many apps do, not many learning programs do. And it's for me, it's what gives this this program, this platform, this game, its massive usefulness in education is you can monitor how every single student is doing and then you can design your lessons to hit the gaps. So you don't have to carry on teaching things that you can see they know. You can teach things that they don't know. Targeted education. There's not many times that teachers get to actually do that. Okay, let's take a look at the stats. Okay, so this is the, the stats area that I was talking about before. I have to be a little careful because this is one of my students and I don't want to release her name to the world. Um, you can see that she's doing very well, 93%, 80%, so maybe need to look at this sound. Uh, 95 doing okay, 91, and it goes, it goes on 88, 77 for this one. That might need some work because these are um, all the sounds that are in the game and they try, they repeat them and they try again to make sure the students don't just are lucky and get it right once. These are accessible to teachers and I guess if the parent sets it up to see uh, how they're doing. What help do they need? You don't have to guess. You can see they're listening to this sound, they're trying to make words with this sound and you can see if they're succeeding. If they're not succeeding, well now you can know you can go and do a lesson or do an activity on those sounds. If you see the whole class is getting it wrong, maybe you need a week of lessons to bring this back up. It means you can target your teaching, your phonics teaching, to the needs that they have. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I've put myself over here, blocking the names again, uh, but I wanna show you why, because I showed you the stats before. And this is the menu you'd get. All these are our students' names. And you can see the stats part there. It's also got password card, change game, means you can put them up or down a level, reset all their stats. I won't press that. I don't want I don't want six year olds coming screaming at me, which is what they would do. Uh, edit, transfer, and delete means you can delete players, or you can give them to another teacher's account, or you can change it if you maybe spelt their name wrong. I have over 400 students on this game, so, you know, mistakes happen. Uh, rewards is a good one. The student has only achieved, uh, sorry, has only finished the first one, so they only get the poster. This is a poster when they make their monster. Uh, however they design it, they can then be printed out a poster, and they actually have a, a hard copy, a picture of their monster. This one above has finished the game. So they'll get three monster letters, and the monster letter is quite cool. It's a letter written by the monster with their name on it that says, thank you so much for teaching me uh, how to read. I've nearly completed my spaceship. If you remember the game, they're trying to fix their spaceship. Um, and there's three of these. 
they go to the other planet to fight a pirate king and a fairy princess helps them and they get a letter at each big milestone of their game. There's also certificates. So when they finish uh, a whole level, they get a certificate saying, congratulations, student name, you have finished uh, this level of phonics, well done, from the monster. And these can be quite good in a classroom or even in a home school, to be honest, where you can print it out and have a little ceremony and give them it and give them a clap and everything like that. I've done this in my classes where, and it's not, it's not with 400 students, that's not easy to manage, but as they come in, once a month or so, we'll spend five minutes giving out the certificates for people who finish the game. It adds just a little real world to it. So it's not just a game on a computer. It comes back into the classroom. This is a good thing. And uh, also, it's kind of nice when you're six, seven, eight years old to be brought to the front of the class, given a certificate because you did a good job. Why not with this? Uh, there's also uh, ebooks. That they'll get sent as they finish each level as well. So they'll get uh, an ebook that they can read and take, and it's a little prize for them. Don't forget, this entire website's free. So what they do this is is incredible. Okay, one more thing. Uh, again, for teachers, they've got more games. So they've got the sight word games called Cites, um, where they can try and recognise here the, the the words as was words that don't fit a phonic or phonetic pattern. Uh, the mini games, which I'm going to show you in a minute, or maybe have done, uh, and then flashcards. Every English classroom has flashcards, don't they? But these ones are, are set in the theme of the monster. So this is the teacher side of things. Now, I can't really move the page because I'll, I'll totally reveal my, uh, my students' names, and I don't want to do that. But you can see it down here as well. Now, there's one more I didn't talk about. Parents' letters. This game is free. It's free on uh, the website, the story side of it. I'm going to show you the mini games in a minute. Uh, the story side of this is free on their website forever. So you can give that student a login. They can log in and play. One of my students has played an app, 22 minutes on an app, but 20 hours. Thank you, COVID. That's why. But they played 25 hours or something on the computer. This is during a school lockdown. You know, here in Hong Kong, we, we are not at school and haven't been for a long time. They are choosing to play this. I gave them the task, but I didn't say, please play 25 hours of this game. They are choosing to. Now there's a choice here. I said it before. If they're going to play a game, let's make it educational. You know, I'm not, I'm sure there are educational things in Fortnite, but it's not an educational game. So my students and others, thousands around the world are choosing this game and they learn. That has to be a good thing. Okay, let's take a look at those mini games. Probably my second favorite thing in Teacher Monster are these. As a classroom teacher, uh, you have access to so many games that you can put on your whiteboard or on a computer for these uh, for these sounds and these um, for your students. This is all the sounds in English, and it says choose a GPC, which means choose a sound basically. So if you're starting off in kindergarten, you have the basic sounds. If you're finding this a little later, you have sounds. Uh, or, air, ear, ear, oi, ow. The uh, diphthongs. Um, and if you're doing blends and things like that, shh, shh, you have those. Now, as a teacher, you can choose these and target them. So if you're teaching sounds individually, or if there's something you noticed in this story that we talked about earlier that they may be struggling with or not getting right too easy, why not pick one of these sounds and play a game? Now, in the story, I could show you one game because it is such a big, big uh, lot of games to play there. So let's try one. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Let's try R. And you can see here, uh, 12 games. Now, realistically, there's six because some of these games are the same, uh, at least the same gameplay. So you've got the sheep and the duck, which is collect your sounds and put them into the box. 
that's the same. These two are like Sonic the Hedgehog games, if you remember that, if I'm showing my age a little bit now, or Crash Bandicoot games, I guess. There's uh, stacking games where you listen to the sound and build. There's shooting games or flying games where you have to fly through the right sounds. And then there's jumping games over here and actually falling games where you have to find the right sounds as well. Now you can see it says letter, oops, it is. Letter sound matching games and blending and segmenting games. They do what they say on the uh, on the tin, but in case you don't know, letter sound matching means the letter S and the sound S. So they're going to try and get students to recognize what letters make sounds. Now with S, S, it's easy. With long sounds or some of the diphthongs like A, it's not easy. So they're going to have to think. But down here, blending and segmenting means building words. So that means taking them apart and putting them back together with sounds. These are skills. And if you teach your students skills, not just knowledge, you are doing a great job. This is going to help, at least if you're an English teacher. So I want to try one of these and then one of these. And then you can decide how you use them in your class, because I know you will use them. Let's take a look at the Sonic game, just for old time's sake. Collect the balloons and they'll tell you which way to go. So it wants you to jump. Aww. And then it tells you, should you go up or down? Up. It is R. O. O. O A says O. There's three in each level, so it's good to get one student up to the front and then let another one try. Oh. So I need to go up for R. It then takes you back to the main page and you pick another sound. So that is letter matching. That was uh, listening to the sound, matching it to the letters. And you can see there, like I said, OA says O. So it's testing their knowledge a little bit, but we are choosing difficult sounds. Mm -hmm. So let's try a blend oh. for a diagraph. And I want to choose one of the games at the bottom just to show you that they've put a lot of thought into this game. You know, this was not done overnight. Um, it's not one of those phonic games trying to make money. As we've said, it's free. <laughs> Most of the time it's free. It's always free on computer. And then sometimes it's free on, as an app on Apple or Android. But you can time that right. Um, we said something at the beginning and I'll say something at the end about that. Let's look at the space game. Your, Your monster, monster needs fuel, fuel to, to get, get home. home. Find the letters that make the word shack. So it's looking for you to listen to the sound and put them together. That was shack. First sound. Second sound. Ah. Again, you can see it's teaching them that CK is actually one sound but two letters. Get the stars. Find each of the sounds in the word shed. I'll go through this quickly, just so you're not watching me play a game. I'm not one of, the, I'm not one of those YouTubers. <clears throat> then there's one more. So again, this Find one, the I think that one make the word has three shed. levels. Ship, was it? Let's hope so. Yes. Oh no, maybe there's one more. So this one's got five. Find each of the sounds in the word shall. So you can have your students at the front doing this. And because it's nice and short. Finish. Because it's nice and short, you can get through a lot of students with the same sound. And these are free. Normally, you'd have to sign in to ABC or education.com. Teacher Monster to Read gives you this for free. And not only is it free, it's the best one out there. Okay, so you've looked at the story game, 
the stats that you can use to plan your lessons, some of the giveaways and the, the, the resources that they've got in there. I want you to go and look at the website, really, because they've also got games on there, videos on there, entire teaching platforms, even got lessons. I cannot rate this highly enough, and I've been teaching for 15 years, this sort of stuff. When, this, when I found out about this, it's the first thing I do in schools. So that's the Teaching Monster to Read game. I hope you found that useful. If you did, press subscribe, press like, check out the links at the bottom. We've actually written uh, on our website a lot of how-to guides for Teacher Monster. So we'll put those at the bottom. And if they're of any use to you, let us know. Okay, catch you next time.